How's it going everybody? We're gonna build a 2S2P LiPo today at 2000 milliamp per hour. Everything started about a year ago when my girlfriend bought me my first drone actually. It was super cool. All made of plastic and it was sort of a toy drone but it was really funny. I had my first FPV experience, which was awesome. I felt like flying for the first time and it wasn't actually that bad. Even watching that FPV footage uh, wasn't so bad for being a 60 bucks drone uh, ready to fly. Anyway, it had batteries and I found the batteries had a short life, so I bought upgraded batteries. Um, six of them, uh, but they never arrived, and so I trashed my drone and they arrived like after two months I, I trashed it, so long story short, I got this 1000 milliamp per hour 30C uh, LiPo batteries and I don't know what to do with them, so I thought I could, I could like do a 2S2P battery, so doubling the milliamps and make it a 2S battery for my Tyrannus. How cool is that? So I started to strip down the batteries one by one and desolder all the cables uh, as you can see from the picture. Uh, on the top left corner of the picture I'll leave you the diagram on so you can follow up what I'm doing more or less. So as we can see here, I stripped down the batteries, I'm stripping down the batteries and removing the cables. And you can see there's a board also, and I'm gonna keep that. Um, I'm gonna keep that. I think it's gonna protect the batteries from dying. I'm not 100% sure. I'm, as you know, probably already, I'm a kind of a noob, so I'll just leave it there. It worked until now, so why change something that works? So. Uh, here, as we can see, I'm packing up the batteries after desoldering. I put uh, that red wire, I will remove it because I found I made a mistake, so that's why I'm not mentioning it. Here we go, removing it. So what I'm doing here, I'm first of all bridging, as you can see from the picture, stripping down the red cable here. and we'll use it to bridge the positive pads. So first bridge is made. I'm gonna do that for the second pack. So basically this is a total of four cells, but two are in parallel and two in series. So it will appear on the battery charger like 2S battery. By the way, I'm, I'm asking you guys, <clears throat> Uh, I'm wondering if the balance will, uh, if the balancer will balance it correctly, because basically, as I said, it's four cells. So, are the cells gonna be disbalanced, or is the balancer, the charger balancer, gonna be able to balance the cells, all four of them? Here we go. So I'll pack them up. More or less, this is the shape at the end of it. Now I'm gonna bridge the negative with this. You're probably familiar with it. Oh, by the way, be be careful of not bridging positive and negative here uh, with the solder on the same battery, because it's gonna shine. <laughs> it's not a problem on a, on a battery with such a low voltage, but if you do that on 4S batteries, you're gonna blow things up. So, there we go. I basically connected the positive pads in pairs on the two cells. It's 
So what I'm doing now is is bridging, connecting the two the two cells together. There we go, the black cable. Right now I'm connecting the JST connector for a two cells battery. And I'll do the balance lead with that. So I need a crimp, a crimp machine, a crimper, whatever. A crimper, I think. So that I can Crimp the JST connector and put it in that plastic connector. What I do, I put a, a drop of solder in the metal part of the connector so that the cable, before crimping, uh, gets st stuck to it. I'm trying to put a There we go, it's soldered and crimped. There we go, seems pretty solid. Cool. Now I'm stripping the balance cables and follow the diagram and soldering on the on the batteries. All uh, right now, um, when I did this, I found out that the balance cable was a little bit too long and not trimmed as I had to. So I'm, I cut out that part of the video because it's kind of boring. But I I trimmed it because it looks ugly now. <laughs> So now I gotta wire up the power cable, which I won't need to power up the Tyrannus, but I'll need it to, for, to charge the battery. So I plug it in. This is my smoke stopper from a previous video. So basically I'm connecting the, the XT60 cable uh, connector so that when I solder it won't move. Make sure the positive and the negative match. The flat part of the connector is the positive and the, <clears throat> and the curved part is the negative. Well, applying the cover. And soldering. The XT60 connectors with that gray cover are called XT60H. I'll link everything in the description. I'll link just everything I use in this video in the description. Nice. As you can see, I already trimmed the balance cable here, as I told you. And right now I'm going to put some hot glue. Now let's check the cell. See? It reads two cells. They're not in balance right now. 4.01 and 4.07 for a total of yeah, 8 volts or something. 
so I'm gluing everything to insulate and protect everything it's not the cleanest work ever but it's pretty good as long as it works wrapping everything up and here we go Whoop. all right so seems done thumb up and let's try it on a battery charger this is sped up a little bit didn't want to make it too boring remember to set your balanced battery charger on 2s 7.4 volts and I charge at 0.5 amps just to be prudent plug everything in let's see okay battery check positive and let's start amps kick in and it's because these batteries weren't dead so they're kind of charged so mostly I will need to balance them again if you guys know if all four cells are gonna be balanced because I don't know how to check them uh, let me know in the comments please and right now I'm gonna do the final test on my Tyrannus I already plugged it in here because it was kind of a pain in the ass to plug it in here I needed pliers and so it fits almost perfectly in the Tyrannus it's just a little thick maybe if you do this try to put some less electric tape but it, it closes it fits and three two one nice welcome to open tx nice 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 switch nice. warning right it works perfectly this is gonna be awesome so yeah voltage seems fine and remember to change parameters uh, you need to reset your your battery range and your alarm low battery alarm on the Tyrannus for doing that you just hold the menu button and you go into the settings this is the battery range so that the indicator will be as you prefer and this is for the low battery alarm and that's about it that'll do for the video guys thank you so much for following this project of mine and whatever you need like questions or suggestions about the video about building about whatever type it in the comments below thanks so much for watching guys and see you soon happy flying